Hello, I'm Sam Calagione, president and founder of Dogfish Head. Uh, we opened our brewery in 1995 as the smallest brewery in the country. The beer space then was kind of like what the vodka space was now. You know, there was just a few conglomerates dominating uh, certain style areas and trying to brew beers that appealed to as many people as possible and make them as low in flavor as possible so they didn't offend anyone. It was always our goal to brew our beers in an off-centered way, intensely flavorful, very unique processes and exciting stories around them. We opened our distillery about 12 years ago and just now we come to expand our distillery and the sort of building block of our whole distillery is our analog vodka and you might, might say what's so uh, envelope pushing or off-centered about a, a, a unflavored vodka it's probably that it's actually the most flavorful unflavored vodka that's ever been made basically we're taking our world-class brewing facility and making this vodka from scratch from the grains that we source as, as a brewer from around the world we're using our estery, fruity, doggy beer yeast to ferment the grains to make this vodka. And you compare that to what's sort of out there in the vodka world where around the globe a lot of conglomerate huge distillers are just looking for their cheapest sugar source, whether it's potatoes in Russia or corn syrup in some other part of the country. Or a lot of distillers are just skipping this step and buying uh, grain neutral spirits. For us, we want to do this 100% from scratch in our own off-centered way. So our head distiller, Graham, is in our facility and he sort of gets the baton of the wash from Tim, our brewmaster, who ferments the barley with the brewer's yeast. Then it gets transferred down into Graham's world where he begins distilling it in this beautiful state-of-the-art uh, Vendome uh, three-system-wide copper uh, distillery. And so the proof is really in the bottle. Uh, analog vodka, the name harkens back to one of our original rallying cries, which is analog beers for the digital age. And it is a very flavor forward vodka. It kind of pushes the envelope up against, but just inside of what the federal government allows you to call a vodka, because technically vodkas, most of them are flavorless and odorless. This is a vodka for whiskey drinkers. It's got a lot of that beer DNA in it and that fruity, uh, yeasty nose to it. So, you know, vodkas by definition are very low in flavor, very low uh, in taste. And we've kind of gone up against that grain using our barley grains as the basis for this. So when you drink our analog vodka, you know, the first thing you notice is uh, the nose is almost like uh, fruity, bright, a little bit citrusy, um, estery uh, from the doggy yeast. It goes through a, a fermentation much like a beer. And then when you take a sip, it doesn't have that burn that a lot of vodkas have and it has some sweetness and federal government will let you just add back some sweetness some sugar to your vodka our approach is very different we're leaving residual sugars in from the fermentation so it's the barley sugars that give it uh, the sweetness in the body that it has. So seek it out, put it in a rocks glass like this over a little ice if you want, or make a drink with it, but we do promise you analog vodkas like no other vodka in the world. Cheers.